This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the Laptop Screen Doc. The website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we're going to replace a cracked screen on a Gateway NV53 laptop computer. Okay, uh, this computer belongs to Brad, who is serving in Afghanistan, so just telling Brad to stay safe. All right, um, this one is not too bad to work on. The thing that we need to do to replace the screen is to take the front plastic frame off the bezel and then take the screen out. So the plastic frame has six screws that are covered by rubber feet that we have to remove. So the tools that you're going to need are a pair of metal tweezers, an electronics screwdriver with a pH 1 bit and a smaller pH 0 bit and an exacto knife blade. Okay so the first thing that we need to do is take off the rubber screw covers that are covering up the screws. What I like to do with those, oops the computer turned on by accident, let's turn it off before anything happens. What I like to do with those is attach them to the plastic frame so that you don't lose them later on. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Okay, actually when you take this rubber foot off, if you notice that there's no screw underneath, so we put that one back on and we presume that there's no screw underneath this one and just take off this rubber foot at the corner. Okay, next we need to remove the screws. Use the pH one bit to do that. Okay, keep the screws in separate piles for each part of the job that you're doing so that you don't confuse them later on. Okay. Sometimes there's a magnet underneath so even when you unscrew them, they're still stuck in there. In that case, I use some plastic, some tweezers to get the screws out. All right, and last screw. Okay, next we take off the plastic frame. Usually this is the hardest part of the repair job. And what I like to do is put my fingers on the screen side and gently start prying up. And then when you hear snapping sounds, that's good. So you work your way slowly around the screen, listening for the snapping sounds. Try not to break it. If you do, that's okay. It's happened to me before. Okay, so the trick here is going slowly and if something just doesn't feel right, just go to different other parts until you get it. Okay, and as a good example, something didn't feel right under here where the hinges are. And if we look at the back of the computer, we see that there's a couple extra screws that we forgot to remove. So we take one screw out and the second screw out down here. See if we can get a good angle. Okay, now let's try again. See if things. Okay, let's turn off again. There it is. 
Okay, the power button is on the side, so this tends to turn on. So we don't want that to happen. Okay, now we remove the plastic frame. So once the plastic frame is off, it's fairly straightforward. What we want to do is get to some screws there on the sides of the screen that are hiding here. So we need a way to tilt the screen forward. And the way we do that is we loosen the hinge screws underneath. Don't take them out all the way. Just loosen them enough for the screen to tilt forward so we can get to the side screws. Like so. Okay, once we loosen them enough, we can tilt the screen forward. And you see two screws, one here and one here that we have to remove. And for that, we have to use the smaller pH zero bit. So we get one and to make sure it's tilted back so the screen doesn't fall forward. And two. All right. And same here. Now here we are running into a little bit of a problem because you'll see if you close in on here, there's a magnet where the screw is hiding behind. So for that, I take my X-Acto blade and take the magnet out for the time being so we can get to the screw. When you're putting it back together, don't forget to put the magnet back in. And we take this screw out and one last screw. When you take the last screw, make sure the screen just doesn't fall. Make sure it has a place to go. All right, so we have the screen. Now we slowly tilt it forward. What often, what often happens is there's places where it gets stuck. And one place where it gets stuck is right here. There's some tape here that we need to take off. And we use our X-Acto blade to gently lift up this tape like so. And then the next thing we see is the webcam cable is glued on. So we carefully take it off and we see that there's adhesive. The video cable has adhesive on the back so it's stuck to the screen. We remove the adhesive slowly and then we slowly pull the video cable out of the connector and that's it and we have the screen so the screen is a standard 15.6 inch LED HD screen so this is the standard screen that's in most computers these days laptop computers these days as of early 2011 so let's take a look at the part number for the screen where you want to look at is where it says model number and it's B156XW02. So when you're looking for a replacement screen, that's the number that you need to type into eBay or Google search and the results are, will pop up. The other thing to notice is that this screen is glossy. Uh, most screens that you buy will be glossy, but if you want glossy, make sure it's a sell somewhere glossy screen. And the connectors right here, which is the standard place for a connector. Some very early HP LED laptops had a connector here, so but most likely you won't be a problem if the connector is here. And uh, that's it. So to put the screen back on, you reverse the procedure, put the connector on, put the screen in the metal frame. Don't forget to put the magnet back in and then uh, put the screws in snap in the plastic frame and put the screws in again and you should be good to go and that's it and your computer should be as good as new okay good luck